two two games. They, they haven't managed to clean up a series yet. But both of those wins were the Weeha Um uh, They did lose one game with it as well. But he has looked very dominant oh. on this hero when he's able to get his stuff done. And uh, Gork. Well, there's the toss uh, back. Keeps able to get Gorg under the tower. Takes a couple oh, of tower no. hits. And that will be enough to bring him low enough to take him out. First blood here for Owned Me. As Gorg not quite uh, you know, prepared there for the toss back from Cube. Aleph is Gork. He might just be dead. You know, it, it feels like that's how it's, close it's, it is. It really is that scary for him down there. Yeah, absolutely. He's gonna. They're gonna have backup. Pablo coming in to maybe see if they can punish Ivy. Cube. He's looking for the step up. We get the avalanche onto the three of them. That's the toss back on Gorg. Gorg. He's gonna be surely going down again. See if they can at least punish here as they'll look towards Chupanomi, but the backup comes in from Mobile. Ivy, they'll bring in the numbers as well as Bengen to fall. Cube does finally die. Pablo at least able to make a trade in some sort of way and uh, finally get Team Bold a kill for themselves on the board. See if he can play his way out of this though. Mobile with the Arcane Rune. It's enough to set up yeah. for another Vortex drag back onto Pablo. Malefice is back up. Pablo, he'll be going down as well. So Mobile gets the double kill. Ivy continuing to just rule this bottom lane. And uh, yeah, the I ward think, in the trees. Uh, yeah, I think for the Spear Vessel build, we, we heard the panel talking about this. This is very much the popular thing right now. We get the boots of travel into the Spear Vessel all the time from these Keeper of the Lights, but there's a storm in this game. Obviously, Weeha knows that he's going to have to get pretty active in this one as well, so he's going to try and rush that Orchid so that this doesn't happen. You see Gorg, right? Uh, See if he maybe He's help level out. four. Run, Gorg. I was going to say that that storm is indeed double his level. Middle tower is under attack. But he's making his way back to the bottom lane. You know, he's he's not not to be deterred. He's he's going to come back and try his best to hold the tower there. See, Bangan found in the jungle, dominating now for Mobile. Let's we'll see what what sort of farm Gorg can pick up underneath the tier one hit. <laughs> Some shrapnels to try and keep Pablo covered, and backup comes in from Weeha. He'll TP over to the bottom tower now and look to help out with the play. And so he'll go for Cube. Cube's got backup. Mobile's here. Oh, They've also, oh of course, got the threat of the black hole, and it's, it's not even needed. Mobile pretty much on his own there, able to burst through Pablo and Weeha. Gorg will turn his attention back to the creep wave, but they may very well look to dive him here. Um, an ancient Canadian proverb, uh, the... Uh... The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Uh, we did invent that. And so, uh, you know, that's what we're hoping for here, right? I mean, comeback gold is a thing. If they get some of the big kills, a top lane PO65 will go down. They'll lose Zip Zapper in return. Oh, mid though. That is a and, fantastic uh, game so far, Mobile. Uh, that comes back to like the lane bleed situation as well. Like when you're crushing the lane so hard, you need all these supports to rotate to the side lane, and so no one is able to come mid and try and contest the runes, and it's just freedom there. Oh, nice angle from JM. Somebody get on top of Weeha. In with the battery assault. The, the global silence came out, but it was too late. And now Bang, and he's found himself on the front lines. Mobile and only me, they'll find him as well. Still with some mana to play. We'll see Mobile attempt to chase down Pablo. Zip Zapper is around. See if they can turn this, but the black hole's there. Onto the two of them. As Own Me has the catch on to Zip Zapper and Pablo. Triple kill for Mobile. Oh, look at Gorg. Gorg, like Gorg. 11 minutes and Cube. He's there waiting for him. Gorg steps up to what he hoped to Cube's, be the safety Cube's of his dying. triangle, but Cube's there. Cube's just, he's just there every time, Cube. Start for, for Team Bold. I've had some tough games, but this is, this is almost certainly the, the toughest start that they've been in. As the kills. I'm going to continue to come in by the looks of it. They've got the trap on. Oh, we always hasted now. He's indeed able to get the toss back, so they'll catch both of them there in the cogs. Two more dead on Team Bolt. Oh, you know he wants it bad, too. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had to just make sure the Orchid works there on the trusty shovel creep. Oh, yeah, he's having a bit of a giggle himself. It does indeed. Zip Zapper not giggling here. No. No, he's not. No, he's dead. He is very, very dead. Gorg. No, he's been spotted. Mobile. He's got the drag back with the Vortex, and that, will be, that should be enough here to set up for the kill. And now they can maybe look to wrap behind the tier two and look for more here. There's still a tier one and a tier two in this top lane, but Ivy don't care. They're straight in for kills. That's banging. Cleaned up by PO65. 
team bold the rest of their their heroes they just have to remain hidden they cannot afford to show against how much storm. yeah they're gonna send out gork so gork bring over the storm spirit oh no gork's oh, out of there actually he's 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 just gonna tp straight back to the base so he won't be a part of this move in the mid we are has been jumped hit by cube jam hook shots across but we are actually able to step away so he'll survive now maybe they can look for a bit of a turn. Uh, Weeha will still get finished off as PO65 wraps around from the back of the fight and he's in with the BKB. Now he turns over towards Zip Zapper. He's also going to be able to bring back Pablo into the stuns. We'll see Gorg getting dove at the same time up on the high ground. Mobile and Owen to be able to find him. PO65 drag backs banging. It looks to be four heroes dead on Team Bold. Zip Zapper the only one able to get away. And even he didn't, uh, nearly didn't there as the, the toss brought him down low. He'll be at Ivy. They really want this storm here, Team Bob. Oh, but look, the BKB. Uh, they'll get the catch on to own me at the side. They'll settle for the Enigma. Will they be able to burst for him, though? He's able to put the Greaves. He's not going to be able to stand his ground with the black hole as Gorg's doing the damage, but not enough. He's still alive. In fact, he's going to walk this off. Own me's going to live. Gorg goes down. Mobile's in with the BKB. Jump Zip Zapper, and they'll tap out. They've had enough. They couldn't quite even kill the Enigma there. Owned me able to walk away from their efforts. 31 to 5, 21 minutes in. This was a, a rough start to the series here for Team Bold, Trent. Yeah, it certainly was. That was a complete offlane domination into just uh, the walk down, you know? Storm just joins in, and uh, the multiple non-stop kills on Gork, really. It, it just put this giant magnet in that bottom lane. Everyone was drawn to it. Uh, you know, maybe it was the, the black hole from the Enigma, I'm not sure. And Pablo's just like, well, I, I can't really be here, so I'll, I'll just go get the runes. Just, just live, please. And, well, that might have been a bit too tough. There's still a cookie here, so. When he, he does indeed try his best to juke it, but uh, won't be able to survive. So a, a well-executed kill there from Ivy. Uh, able to battle through that early regen that the ring provides. The XP. Looks like Omni's handing off to him intentionally there. Making sure he'll have that ulti. So they're going to have uh, Kisses as well as Wrath of Nature. So lots of burst damage available for a potential turnaround here. Oh, he doesn't have the Kisses quite yet, actually. And he's going to walk into the two of them. He'll get very quickly taken out. Did manage to get the cookie off, though, with his dying breath. Let's see if that's going to be enough to set up for anything. There's uh, TP in. Let's close the gap. Owned me. Trying to see if they can still get something out of this. The Stampede from Zip Zapper. Won't get Pablo out in time. Mobile still able to clip him with the Crypt Swarm. And in fact, continues to just run down Weeha all the way back towards his Tier 3 tower. Such early towers. Tier 2 gone 11 minutes in. I mean, last game, we, we saw we thought the Tier 2 going down as fast. That was at 15. This is 11 minutes this time round. See Team Bold try and stop, hold their ground here for a fight. They're trying to get on top of Mobile. Siphons are off. Can they burst through this Death Prophet? They can. They'll finally put an end to Mobile. Take the Death Prophet off the map. So if they can yeah, catch Pablo Cube still as has well. the stolen avalanche. I should be able to get him it. Connection from the slow of the arrows of Gorg sets up for the burst of Pablo and we are to come in. So they'll lose their tier two, but they are able to uh, at least take some kills here as Ivy's forced to retreat from uh, being on Team Bolt's half of the map. That was a, a nice, uh, nice punish. A little overextension here. Ivy kind of playing like game one, I would say, you know? As if they had an 11k lead. It's not quite that big, you know? Gotta, gotta relax a little bit here. And Weeha, what a turnaround here. Help him get a couple kills. Now he's gonna grab oh, And they're just not getting that pressure. The, the faster they should shift harder and harder in Ivy's favor. As you can see, it's already like 50 50 at this point. Faith is falling fast from Dota Plus. Weeha. Get the stampede off. Hail up for the TP out, but the damage has been done. As we are gone, JM stepping up the high ground. They'll see if they can burst through the snap fire. Hoof stomp to set up. Should be able to get it. So, team Bold, they'll get the trade. I think they know about the tombstone. I mean, I, I just keep saying go Roche. It just looks like a good time to go Roche, but they're, they're just content. Yeah, this Orchid, though, is going to be a big problem because they just have nothing to deal with that right now on the side of the Dire. They basically just have uh, Stampede, right? That's their save. Uh, see the stolen kisses coming out here from Pablo. 
Not quite enough lockdown to sort of set up for, for the connection on the front of it all. And Pablo will try for the TP out. He's not making it away. Neva Zip Zapper. As Pio 65 and Mobi run him down. Three kills for them on the board. And uh, yeah, the exorcism is at the ready. A little on the mana from Mobi. So I'll surely have enough for it if they want to commit <laughs> onto an objective. Yeah, every time I look at him, he's out of mana. Oh, take it. The wrap round here, Q. Avalanche into the toss back. Gorg, he cannot separate himself from them there as the, the gap is closed. Forcibly oh, there by that control from Cube. The wraparound behind the tower. PO65 looking for Bengen. Good as Phantasm cleared out very quickly there by the AoE of Guiha Zeus. It's now going to go with the jump. And in fact, they'll be able to punish him. They take down the CK. So once again, this time around in this game too, Team Bolt very much showing that they can punish these. These aggressive moves from Ivy, they're going to look for more. Stampede in an attempt to close the gap on Own Me. They're in with the hoof stomp, but at the same time, Cube and Mobi, they're in onto Weehar down the mid. They've taken out the Zeus, and now they've taken out Bengen as well. Toss four from Cube. Sets up for another. And he will die to Gorg. As still with the three remaining members of Team Bold, they're doing a good job of, of getting some of these kills in return, making sure that... So if they want to try and... Go for Mobis as ult comes to an end. So they do have a good high ground vision around here, Team Bold, with the clipboard. And they, they will try and make something happen with it. They're closing in. They'll get the grab onto Q. Quick burst to take down the Tiny. Meanwhile, though, JM laying down the kisses, forcing Team Bold to back right off. PO65, he's got the control and locked down onto Weeha. Finds the Zeus at the front of the fight. It's taken out a fair bit of the damage potential of Team Bold, but they do still have Gorg around to provide some extra firepower. And with that damage, they'll bring down Pyo 65 to once. Only TP's over, ready to see if he can try and protect his carry. And, uh, oh, Zip Zapper, he's actually going to find the opportunity to get in and get the jump on to own me, as well as Pyo 65 there, allowing them to take down the Prophet. See if they can chase for more, but Ivy as a unit. Keep looking for that blink jump in combination with the kisses here from Jim Vincento. As the gem picked up now as well, so they're going to look to close in this map on Team Bald. Only level 11 half though, so uh, not the, the most damage from the Kisses yet. Oh. Yeah, they're going to make the jump on a Weeha, but Zipsap is ready to help him out. Won't manage to get him out. Even with the Stampede, Weeha still gets caught by the damage of Bio 65. And now down the mid, they got Own Me into the high ground here with a TP of the BKB. Stands his ground, takes out Pablo with the help of Cube's damage inside the base. And they'll be able to force out the fortification. Double buybacks coming out as well, straight away from Team Good Bolt. Good choice for, for Own Me here too. I just don't want to see him get blown up right away if he TPs in the middle. Managed to start the fight here as they look towards Cube, but uh, not able to get the burst off. As Cube's going to be fine, able to turn the combo onto Zip Zapper, and it's actually Zip Zapper that ends up in trouble after trying to start the fight with that jump. He goes down, she banging on the retreat, but only TP's in, managed to clean him up as well. So both heroes taken down there from Team Pod. They try and look for that fight outside of the base, but does not go as they would have hoped. And Weeha just clears one more wave for it TPing home. Not really much Own Me's going to be able to do about that. And Pablo. Oh, no, Pablo. Oh, cute. And with the toss back, that's nice. going to be a third down. Pyre 65 thinking about committing him with the BKB, but Gorge does his own BKB. Pyre 65 is going to hop with the TP out. And with the remainder of the BKB duration, he will manage to... Oh, they've gone for the smoke, Ivy. See if they can get into the triangle. Whoa, Gork, slow down, man. Look at look at those forearms. Oh, that's a guy who's he's clicking creeps. Zip Zap is going to try and start things. Him with the stun. We see Pyre 65 go straight towards Gorg. But Gorg pots the BKB, tries to keep his distance from him. But Pyre 65 continues to stand top. They will manage to slide Gorg down to the low ground. But that means Weeha gets left behind. You see them turn towards Mobile. Gorg doing the damage here. Bringing it. Mobile down low. And they'll be able to burst him. They take down the Death Prophet. Now they can try and look for more. It's three dead on Ivy. Pyre 65, Woo! he's gone as well. They'll take out the four -all. As Ivy struggling in the fight, and of course, Team Bolt, they did use the buyback on Weeha. That you don't have to fight into and you actually get something out of it. I can also understand uh, Team Bolt giving up, though, right? Because they don't want to like, separate the squad right now. They want to stay at full power right now and ensure they get the, the full rack, so. Okay. Oh, good toss back. Right, he's able to grab him off the cliff there. Looks towards Banger, but Banger will manage to survive that, and Cube, he'll be the one dying. Now, Team Bolt, they'll 
to push him for more. Pablo, he's going to turn towards Pyro 65. Pyro 65 committing him with the BKP, but Gorg's just doing too much physical damage to the CK. He's able to take him oh, down. Pablo. Double kill for Gorg. He has been caught in the sprout for now. 14 seconds still left on the Aegis, so he doesn't mind getting burnt through the once hit. As that's the Aegis gone, it was about to leave his hands anyway, so pretty much perfect time to lose it. Pi 65's coming with the buyback though. They want to continue to play aggressive now that they take the Aegis out of the Drow's hands, and they'll succeed in doing so. They take Gorg out, they'll look to chase down Zip Zapper. We are on the high ground, we'll be able to avoid the stun with the Yule Scepter. They'll go for a TP out, they've got anything to put an end to it, they do. Cubes in with the toss combo, that's We are out of the game for two minutes. Four heroes dead on Team Bold. Ivy aggressively using their buybacks here from both into Ivy's half of the map. Same to be said for Ivy. See so who gets the wrap around on who. This could be a very, very deadly fight for one of these two That's teams. Good they're going to have their eyes on Omi. They're able to get him with the jump. They're able to jump him before he's able to get the chunk with the BKB. Oh, no, the torch back. That might just save him. Omi's still alive there. Cube. Gork goes in. Hey, and in fact, Gork's able to take him down. The TP out for Momi will not be successful. Gorg able to make sure that they can punish that. He's getting run down by Mobile, but Gorg, he's got a fair bit of backup by his side. Pablo, Weeha, and Zipzap are ready to try and help keep Gorg safe, and they'll manage to do so. Gorg's able to step out to the side. It's Mobile now who's pretty much on his own, deep in enemy territory. Zipzap finishes him off with a double edge. It's three dead on Ivy. Team Ball take the fight. They keep Gorg. They want to get more from it as the smoke's there as they attempt to chase down Team Ball, but Team Ball a bit too quick with their retreat. Ivy, they won't yeah. get anything more, uh, at least uh, oh yet. I mean, they're trying oh to, me, to close off the gap. Maybe they can find some of the support. They look towards Bangan. They'll take it down low, but the damage here from Gorg and Weeha, it just shreds through Ivy. They've lost the DP, the Tiny, and the Snapfire. They're going to maybe lose Omi as well. Yeah, Gorg's got the physical. To take him out, four dead on Ivy. They've even got the setup here for more. The Yule setup coming into play, catching out Pyre 65. It is a team wipe here by Team Bold as they take everybody down. They're so desperate for the chase down and just close this one up. Here we go. Smoke from both sides could very much be the final fight. They're going for the fight with no Bengen there. So you guys to jump on who? There's the stampede, they're in onto Mobile, but Mobile's quick with the hex. hex, turns the hex onto the Centaur. Meanwhile in the river though, Cube's in trouble, he'll fall, here's the one with the buyback. They see Ivy, they're just right, they're completely closing in on this drought. They're doing everything the they ride. can to get on top of Gorg. He gets caught in the Sprout, Stun's going to be thrown his way as well. He's caught by this the, the lockdown, but the damage now from Weeha just is too much for Ivy to survive through. Three dead without buyback, it, it's going to be game over. And there it is, GG is called Team Bog. After a very, very rough game one, they're able to step into this game two, turn this game around after a bit of a tough start once again. And uh, we're going to be going to a game three, Trent. Woo, like a mega big. Oh, mobile at least wanting to get this six so that you can reset, go back to base, get the refuel. That uh, is also a point where Pablo's got his eyes on the mid. They want to try and oh, punish Mobile. That looks good. And here we go with the lead-in. They're able to do it. A perfect time to strike at that point where he was really hoping to get his level six on so he could go for, for the back and forth from the lane. But Pablo, making sure that that won't be as smooth as a level six pickup as he would have hoped for. And at the same time, back into the jungle. As Pablo sweeps back towards the bottom lane, he'll meet up with Zip Zapper to take out Jay and Vincenzo. So a couple of kills for Team Bold here off the back of some nice movement from their bottom lane duo. That will be his son to own me, so exorcism over, in we go, Rain drop the help. And he's, he's got another Siphon ready in a second, there goes the one charges. See if these two do enough damage to take down this Death Prophet, they don't. Not even with the Thunder God's Wrath coming in, they won't be able to quite kill him. Uh, same time in the mid, a bit of a fight kicking off here between Bang and Weeha Cube and Mobile, and one that Team Bile, they'll be the victory. victors of here as they take down wow. Mobile. They're looking to dive pretty aggressively in for Cube. And uh, they'll get him. Weeha does die for that, but he'll say worth. He gets in, gets a double kill. Pyro 65 will, in return, get a little bit of a cleanup. Unless Bang can go for the deny. And. Cube gets the tome as well here as they try and pressure mid. Yeah, see what sort of defense Team Bob will bring in around this. Change connection, Cube, seeing if he can buy time to get in with the Avalanche. He can. Change into the Avalanche. Oh, it's not enough to burst through Pablo. Okay, the slider fist, that will finish him. Raindrop gave him a bit of a, a chance to live. Gorg's turned up to see if he can 
Get some kills out of this fight. I'll get cute, but look who's here as well. Pyre 65. Once again, making sure not to miss out on any action. No Zip Zapper and Gorg alone. Now we're committing with the Shikuchi. He... Gorg's still got a bit of strength to shift Whoa. into. As Gorg. Oh, he's going to get caught by the slight. Mobite able to get in and finish off Gorg and Zip Zapper both going down. Pyre 65. He's going pretty deep here. And uh, a little too deep this time around. Pablo. Oh. Able to slam him with the, the lift off of the telekinesis and the burst they offer. And we are, he's chasing him for more and he'll get it. He's got the reach yeah. there to burst Jan Vincento with the arc lightning. So whilst it, you know, we had Mobile taking down Gorg. Vincento tries to get some XP mid, but everyone keeps running through. Now we are very much seeing though, even with that death from Pyre 65, he's just been able to clean up so much more gold on the map. You know, 6.5k next work, net worth against. Uh, so the 4k that Gorg has now in the mid, the avalanche onto the two of them, Mobi jumping in with the remnants. It's going to be cute cleaning up the double kill. Pi 65 trying to beat into Bengen. Uh, he's actually going to get grabbed by Zip Zapper. It's, it's enough to kill him. Whoa. Zip Zapper, big kill to be found there. This is a very valuable weaver. You know, sitting at the top of the net worth, they're able to get him. And with Gorg waveforming over, they'll look towards Cube as well. He'll get the avalanche off Cube, but not enough to hold back both of them. And T-Bot, they're not even done yet. Zip Zapper charging in onto both of them. And Gorg, oh, a nice little play there. Turns into the Ember Spirit. Slight chains against them. As T-Bot, they pick up the four kills. It's only only left alive. This time, it's Gorg's turn to be the carry that turned. Uh, we will have Maelstrom coming up here pretty soon. Probably, so uh, that's quite a bit of damage there on the Ember. Uh, we got a pipe coming out as well on DP and another 600 gold. So they've got items on the move here, but... They're not quite there. Oh, look catch banging. Team Bolt, they'll let them have that. As long as they can get Pablo and Wehar out, they'll be fine. But of course, oh. they'll, they'll want to dive this. As Mobai straight in underneath the tier one tower, gets in onto the Zeus and the Rubik. Heavenly jumps there from Wehar, but it won't save him. As they'll lose their lives. Three dead. Zip Zapper also potentially in trouble as Omi is in on top of them with the Siphon. We'll see if Mobai wants to go again. He does. Slight chains, gets another connection. It's going to be four. Heroes cleaned up by Ivy. Team Bolt, they weren't ready for that one. Some you know, hugely aggressive plays because they fantastic time on this one. Pablo, scouting things out here with the stolen Shikuchi. Uh, Cube's gonna, he's gonna be able to punish him for this one. He'll get into the invis of the Shikuchi again, but the curse is already upon him. And stick charges, unlikely to save him here. He'll try and hide in the trees, but they'll stay on top of it. Plus two for Jan Vincento. Nicely building up the int so far, already up to 12. You know, the item upgrades aren't going to be quite as substantial here for Team Bald in a while either. This is just feels pressure to go in here with the Tombstone. Right, instant TPs are coming in. They will manage to kill only before the backup is in play, but the Ivy Pio 65 and Mobite should have a chance of getting kills in return as they take out both Bang and Zip Zapper. Pyre 65, he's ready to leap forward for more. They're going to be able to close the gap on Weeha. Double kill for Mobile. Only Gorg and Pablo left here on the bottom lane as they have got a retreat. They have no, no sort of further say in this fight as Ivy. Yeah, these two cores here. Yeah, Pyre 65 and Mobile. They they just have so much cleanup potential. They, they're jumping around the fight, sort of as the panel said. You know, if you, if you don't get the catch on these heroes, they are just going to be a nightmare to deal with in these mid-game skirmishes. I think it's Zip Zapper too who's really struggling. Like he he feels like he's just throw his body in because without the BKB, there's silence from the DP. There's bolas, uh, just like mini suns from Tiny. Like this is where he shines for sure. Like individual pickoffs and plays, but the team fights. Like if Ivy comes in, it's very hard for Zip Zapper to actually do much like he feels pressured to break up these fights in the first place but if he just onslaughts in he pretty much can't commit any of his other spells that don't just like losing everything to the silencer or getting controlled up by someone else on ivy it's a bang on. stepping into a dangerous area of the map there to get some information it won't be alive mm -hmm. to to tell it to the team yes, the team <laughs> able to back him up as this tier 2 in the mid like... should be going down as well here. Ivy continue to push the lead now. He looked like he disconnected. <laughs> just, the silence are just walking up bottom. there. Bottom! Bangin' nearly getting out with the TP, but Pyre 65's Gleipnir puts a stop to that one as well. Things are... This is the kind of patience that you're hoping for here. 
Pablo, though, hoping to find something, but there's a sentry on the ground. And they were ready for Ooh. that one. It really is going to be a, a case of seeing if Ivy this time rounds. You know, they struggled in game two with using their advantage to take things to the next step, get to that high ground, take you know, some of these structures from Team Bold. Let's see if they can do it here in game three, or somehow Team Bold can push them back once more. Zip Zappers in. But we are on the side. He has to be careful. Pi 6 is going to go straight towards the cores on the back line. Same to be said for Mobile. Mobile's in with the remnants. He's looking towards the Zeus. Strain him with the slight chains. Locking down Weeha. And protecting himself for now with the ghost form. Pi 6 is going to continue to try and commit on towards the Zeus. But Team Park, they're doing a decent job of allowing Weeha to get back to safety. Bengen will still go down. Zip Zapper onslaught over towards the Ember. They're bringing the Ember low. They've actually managed to kill him off. As they've taken out Mobile. Team Bold there was some, some very fancy footwork. Weeha being able to survive through that whole attempt there was... Just... Aegis by the looks of it. Yep. No, for sure. I mean, yeah. Let's just say, when, when your Ember's not got a BKB, you need this Aegis on him every time. But we'll see if he... It might be helpful to get him a rune as well next time. Oh, to the triangle he goes. Now we'll get Bang. Let's see if they can get more. Gorb holds back q Pan Mobile here with the chains. He's going to get the gap closed upon him as uh, he'll PKP TP out. Mobile will look towards the support of Pablo instead. Uh, Pablo, they're able to toss him back, but uh, Q, he'll toss him straight back uh, after being tossed back. Yeah, no chance uh, to throw out the, the Amber Remnants. That would have been pretty nice as a save, but caught. Whilst the Aegis is still in the hands of Mobile, but uh, in a fashion that causes them to be able to force a fight outside of their base. Uh, and maybe yep. get the jump on Ivy and and break them apart so that they won't actually be able to use the remainder of the Aegis to try and approach the high ground again. See them lose Bang and very, very quickly. Mobi, oh, he's looking for Weeha. He's gone for the TP on the high ground. They're not going to be able to find him. So Weeha will manage to live. Both supports, though. Team Bold will fall. I see the attention turned towards Gorg. Still got a BKB at the ready. And he will have to walk his way back to the, the base, though. No. Team Bold as the attention was drawn towards the top and that gave all the space that the rest of his team needed mobile to take that oh. bottom racks there's still e blade and thunder god's wrath here but they're gonna get we are they're gonna get the toss back we are in a very very risky spot can the rest of his team bail him out of this one zip zapper getting him with the grab but uh we are down and out for 50 same to be said for zip zapper they do both have buyback available we are gonna have to use it if they want to try and hold on to uh, at least this mid racks it's going as they'll go straight towards the top with only me leading the way. I reckon that shard's going to come out here pretty soon as well. I don't think they want to stop. Get the grab onto Weeha though. Let's jump in. Mobite. The BKB. Global Silence comes into play. Gorg will remove it with the BKB. There's no saving Weeha though. Out for 90 seconds. Mobite on the Ember Spirit. Just too much for them to deal with as he's just jumping around the fight. Takes out Bangin as well. Now Gorg. He could be in trouble. The push forward from Mobile continues. Slight of fist onto both of them. Gorg's up in the air. He's got a fair bit of strength for the tossbacks there. Wave form to try and get back towards the fountain. And four staff will manage to get him back to the, the safety at the fountain. Uh, Mobile with the triple, and they'll actually call it here. They know there's no stopping Ivy now. They've got the Megas and they've got the game. GG is called. Ivy will take this game three, and with that, this series is theirs. Two to one.